on. This is Nick Zinna and Chris Chandler. Nick Zinna comes to the final right in a wave of confidence after he blew through the regionals with the biggest upset. There he took out Travis Pageant. Here he explodes through Chris Chandler early. The freak, no opportunity to put the brakes on there. Look at that start and look at the emotion, the aggression on the giant farm boy. Full of emotion, very strong man. The man you referred to a moment ago as a 400 pound polar bear is up next. There is Sean Latimer. That's right, a big threat on Latimer's weaker arm and he's hooked him early. It's Josh with the win and an impressive one. Look at that, Riker cutting in arm on arm. Sean not as comfortable on that right arm. And a powerful move there from Riker. And a big victory to move on. We continue on. This is Matt Gerdner and Chris Chandler. We pick this up mid-match with a foul on Gerdner. And we are deep inside and an enormous attack by the freak. Chris Chandler in the grey shirt driving for the path. But Matt Gerdner is holding at the base. The bicep strength of Gerdner is so impressive there. But he's going to need to get himself back in this match while he still has the opportunity. And he has the fight back. Gerdner needs to watch the elbow. Lifted a bobble in there. I think that's going to get called. And it does. But Wood with the uh, signal early. It's, it's when you're driving this way, bud. It's coming right up. Disappointment there. As he uh, tried to power back to the center, no intention, just couldn't base the elbow. And you can see hovered above the pad two or three times there, hence the foul. There you go, right can there. he do it again? So two fouls on Gerdner, one more, he would lose the pull. Would indeed, and he needs to anchor that elbow down now. Worryingly, he doesn't have the base on there, and he's really riding his luck as he drives to the side. Chandler, the freak, that massive muscular arm trying to hold up Gerdner. Oh, Gerdner's elbow again. Miles off the back. Dude, it's this high up. It's this high up, Matt. Gerdner contesting that, but he really has no grounds to do so. I love Matt. This guy's a great competitor, but his elbow was wayward there. Miles off the back of the pad. Disappointment for Gerdner. So the victory goes to Chandler. How about this matchup on the right side? Bajan on the left, his wife Casey looking on against Dave Chafee. This is an incredible potential matchup. Travis Bajan has made vast improvements on this right arm and he feels that he can do something here. Oh, I'm going to tell you yeah. right here, I've got something for this. Yeah. Travis Bajan there, given a foul, I believe, for a jump start, but wow, that was close. A harsh decision from Charles Fisk, but no consequence for Bajan. He felt what he needed to feel there. And he will be looking for the same soup warmed over to try and get to the strap, and again, he puts Chafee. Wow, the beast is aggressive and focused here. Look at that, he had total and control when that match slipped. And Travis Bajan is a strap master. He will love his chances here. What an exciting prospect in the reigning champion, possibly tested early. Wow, look at the hit. Bajan so close. Now the counter from Chafee. Dave Chafee, so much arm power. And he focuses on driving through Bajan. Bajan is on the red line. He's absolutely shaking with every fiber of his beam as he tries to fight it off. Oh, Dave Chafee with the win. That was intense. Travis Bajan was so close to creating the upset. Roared to the crowd as he anchored his elbow down and tried to break back Dave Chafee. What an incredible war and how much damage has been done to both men there. What a display of power between two great competitors in arm wrestling and there is Bajan icing down that right arm, trying to get some relief from that incredible pull that he just endured right there with Dave Chafee. Continuing on, Wilton Brock and Sean McIntyre. Wilton Brock is a real sleeper in this weight division. Favors the left arm, but this man is just rock strong. And he bases his elbow there, sets the hook, and he's waiting. 
waiting for Sean McIntyre to make a move. Watching his opponent carefully. He'll attack on the breath, and there it is! Wilton Brock now drives for the pad, and successfully done. He really executed that with strategic perfection. Wilton Brock found his position early, and that was a masterclass of timing from Wilton Brock. Without question, here we go now. It's Travis Bajan on the left, Jerry Cataret on the right. Double elimination, losers out. A dog fight for survival, and Travis Bajan rushes towards the pad. Huge elbow foul. That was massive. And Travis are using a little bit of that guile that he possesses. He knew that he was in trouble there, and he escaped the match to get the restart. Kind of like serving into the net in tennis. He needs to be away early. Jerry Cataret is a real dark horse here. And Cataret has stopped the match. This is ominous for Bajan. Travis, having just come off the back of a war, may be already burned in that area, and Cataret is driving for the pad. Jerry Cataret has executed an incredible move there. He was busted wide open in terms of the wrist and hand, but he can win ugly. And he takes out Travis Bajan with a tricep press. Bajan is eliminated in the most dramatic of fashions. Gave such a good account of himself, but of no consequence. And he's put out early here in Vegas. Whoever got that match, whoever lost that match was out. We knew it. But the winner, the winner could be in trouble too, though. I don't, I don't think Dave's got as much in his tank now. I think that Jerry or Nick probably have a new champ. But we'll see. So Travis Bajan's dream of two wall hammers is over. World Arm Wrestling Championships are brought to you by the World Arm Wrestling League. For more information, visit wallunderground.com. This is how we do it. Introducing the Dish two-year TV price lock. Get 190 channels in the award-winning Hopper HD DVR for just $49.99 every month for two years. And those hidden monthly fees others charge? With Dish's two-year price lock, there are none. It's just $49.99. So sit back, relax, and watch TV. Not your bill. Lock it today and get Netflix or NFL Red Zone included for one year. Call 1-800-DISH-LOCK. Welcome to Hooters, your fantasy football headquarters. You think you have what it takes to beat me? Enter the Hooters Fantasy Football Challenge for a shot of your share at 300 grand and a claim to fantasy football glory. You got to get into Hooters to find out how to win. Get deals on over 400 hot styles at the Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale. Choose from over 50 laminate and bamboo floors, over 150 hardwood floors, like pre-finished oak from 99 cents, plus deals on fellow with gray floors, wood look, tile, and more. With 24 months financing, the Fall Flooring Kickoff is going on now at Lumber Liquidators. This is Smith & Forge Hard Cider. It's like Buford here. Strong. Sturdy. But not too sweet. Buford! Built from apples, built to refresh. Smith & Forge Hard Cider, now on draft. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. America's most innovative off-road vehicles are all on sale during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. Ranger started just $82.99 after rebate. Take one home for only $145 a month. Sportsman started just $51.99 after rebate. Get riding for as little as $91 a month. Get the best deals of the year on all remaining 2015s during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. When you get up to 50% off hotels with Travelocity, it means you can also afford to get up to 50% Swedisher Swedish massages, making it the place to find a place for Labor Day. Go and smell the roses. I'm going to bring back with me something that no other team can provide but you guys. That's pride. We have one shot to get in right. We have one shot to hold on tight. We have one shot to hold You had the whole place jumping. Count of the line, they're like sportsmen. They like guys who don't quit. They like guys who play the game the right way. That's us. we be the boys of summer. The Little League World Series continues through August 30th on the networks of ESPN. Presented by Kelly.